Hi, welcome back to Gluten Free Plantains. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I make my Jamaican lentil patties. These patties are vegan, gluten free, and oil free. If you want to see how I make them, keep watching. Also, if you're brand new to this channel and you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you like this video after watching it, hit the, hit the thumbs up button. And if you think this video will be helpful to someone else, share it. So let's get on with making these patties. To make the pastry for the patty, I'm going to use my food processor, but you can do this by hand as well. It's important that you use the plastic attachment that comes with the food processor and not the blade. To the food processor, I have added one cup of ground oat flour, what half a cup of sunflower seeds that's been ground, a third cup of flaxseed, and then I'm going to add some salt and curry powder. A full list of the ingredients will be in the description box as well as a printable copy will be available from my website. And finally, to bind everything together, I'm just going to put the lid back onto the food processor and pulse everything just so that everything can be mixed together before adding my liquid. I'm now adding a third cup of water to the food processor gradually. You don't want to put it all in at once, just gradually put it in whilst the food process processor is mixing everything together. And I've found that just using a third cup of water creates a perfect consistency. Onto the filling for the patties, I'm using brown lentils and sweet potato. The sweet potato or you could use white potato will bind everything together and make sure that the mixture for the patty, the filling for the patty is not too wet. I also have some white onion, celery, red bell peppers, oregano and a bit of salt. As I said, the full list of the ingredients will be in the description box as well as on my website. And I'm just going to put this on to cook and then allow it to cool down completely before adding it to the pastry. Okay, so back to the pastry. And here I have a bowl to cut the larger size pastry and a glass to cut the smaller size pastry to make the mini patties. A baking tray to put my patties onto a fork to make the indents on the corners or the edges of the patty and the pastry. I also have two parchment pieces of sheets and that's just to roll the pastry on. Here I allowed my pastry to sit longer than it needed to. It actually doesn't need to be sit, you can use it straight away. Once you have made your pastry you can um, make your patties but I was doing something in between filming and I allow the pastry to sit way longer than it should have been and it started to dry out. If this happens to you, all you need to do is add a bit of water but I was in a rush so I didn't add any water, I just continued and as you'll see it made my patty pastry a little bit more too crumbly. So if your pastry gets too dry, just add a bit of water to it before um, rolling it out. So I place the pastry between the two parchment sheets of paper and then I'm using my rolling pin to roll it out to the desired thickness. This is the pastry all rolled out and I'm just lifting the parchment paper to check that it's not sticking and then I'm going to flip it over and check that it's not sticking on the other side as well. If you roll this pastry too thin, it will stick and you might just need to put your um, dough back, into, back together and then re-roll. I'm using the bowl to press against the pastry to create regular sized patties and I'll use the glass to make little mini patties. If the pastry is stuck to the bowl, just use a knife to gently tease the pastry away from the rim of the bowl and you'll do the same with the glass as well. My pastry was too dry at this point and I knew that the pastry was going to crumble but I was in a rush and I wasn't prepared to put it all back together and add a little bit of water. So this pastry is a little bit too crumbly 
and also after filming I realized that you can't see clearly in the video in the clip how I'm sealing the patties so I'm going to insert a clip from the following day where I made a few more patties with a pastry that was more moist um, later on and you'll see a clearer shot of me sealing the patty the mini patties and the larger patties um, pastry together and here's the clip so I'm just filling the pastry with the lentil and sweet potato mix and sealing it together and then I'll pop these in the oven to bake for 20 to 25 minutes at 180 degrees This is the baked patties. These are the ones from the next day and underneath those are the ones from the previous day with the pastry that I knew wouldn't stay together. But despite the pastry looking crack, the patties held together pretty well and they weren't crumbling to the touch and they were nice and delicious. Please let me know in the comment section below um, what do you like to put in your patty. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.